The deputy coroner has made an urgent call for a surf life-saving rescue centre to be based at Victor Harbour to prevent drownings in Encounter Bay. But the findings from the inquest into three recent deaths don't include calls for the closure of dangerous beaches. Nearly one year on from Kamran Gujari's death in perilous waters at Petrel Cove, the deputy state coroner has handed down his findings into three drownings. But to the disappointment of Kamran's family, he stopped short of calling for the closure of deadly beaches, instead leaving the decision with the Victor Harbour Council. All we can hope is that the City Council sees fit to make dramatic changes. We'd just like to see perhaps the staircase removed so People aren't invited to their deaths. We'll be consulting with the Sea Rescue, Surf Lifesaving and any other group and our community. I firmly believe people should be responsible for, for their own actions when they go swimming. But the coroner has called for a Surf Lifesaving Rescue Centre at Victor Harbour and an emergency response beacon at Petrel Cove. The coroner has recommended a public education campaign be rolled out before summer to bring to swimmers' attention the dangers at some beaches, how to avoid them and not to ignore warning signs. The father of drowning victim David Gadd wants the campaign focused in schools. A lot is said about safety in regard to pools. I don't believe that there is anything like the same information about swimming in the sea. Victor Harbour Council has already acted on an earlier recommendation for strength and signage. There's lots of beaches that don't even have the signage that uh, Victor Harbour Council has um, and without that you know people are coming into areas and being uh, uninformed and therefore potentially at risk when they go to those areas. Kim Robertson, Nine News.